Siegel, Vice President of Mr. Sid's. Hi, Barry. Hi, Tara. Thanks for coming to see our new store in uh, the Seaport. We opened in November, mm -hmm. and so uh, we're anxiously waiting for the weather to get nice here, but um, it's a very exciting area. There's so much going on, so many businesses, new people moving down here. Um, so it's it's very exciting. It is very exciting. So tell us a little bit about how Mr. Sid started. I know it's been, it was a family business and how it got to this point. Our location in Newton has been in business 50 years. My grandfather was Sid and he had a small tuxedo rental place that sold suits and um, some other things. And as Newton became more affluent, there was more of a demand for, for dress clothing for men. And uh, my uncle at the time, who was working with my grandfather, um, had his eye on doing something bigger and my dad was in uh, New York working in advertising like a mad, one of the madmen uh, didn't like New York Boston boy wanted to move back and they started talking and a space became available and that's where Mr. Sid is uh, today. Well did, were you always into fashion did you know that you were one day gonna be junior Mr. Sid? <laughs> uh, I don't know I mean uh, it, it took some uh, some learning but along the way I loved the store I loved um, you know, growing up in that environment and going down into the tailor shop and, and seeing, you know, something being made and um, that was always exciting and, and, and the customers. And then as I got older, I, would, I learned more about fashion and, and uh, not only just fashion, but the craftsmanship that goes into the, the type of product that we carry at Mr. Sid. So. Yeah, so let's talk about that a little bit because it is, it's a higher end store, which I appreciate. Yes. Um, how do you know what brands you want to bring in or have they always been the same brands for years? It's, it's a little mix of both. You know, we're always looking for what's fresh and what's new, um, but we have a good understanding of who our client is and um, we kind of portray ourselves as uh, classic European. So not traditional, but more classic, um, modern. Um, so something, you know, um, so we tend to lean more to the Italian side of uh, clothing and, and brands. Yeah. And so do you find that your clientele is becoming a younger um, demographic or does it kind of stay the same? I think we are seeing a younger client. Um, we're not necessarily for the 20 year old because I think we're, maybe we are a little more classic plus we're a little high end in price point. Um, but we're seeing that more established guy who wants to start looking well for his career, um, even just you know going out at night, wants to have a, a polished look. Um, someone really cares about the way they look. So what's your favorite brand in the store? I tend to uh, lean towards uh, Costanja for my, um, for my tailored uh, sport jackets. I tend to like uh, Paige jeans these days. They're major amount of stretch in them, narrow bottoms. So, um, you're seeing stretch in a lot of menswear today. I mean, every everything from from suitings to jeans to shirts. My, one of my pet peeves is guys that you know that wear like I call them Farmer Ted jeans. You know, they're just so baggy, wide on the bottom, and you know, like you said, they, when they see themselves, they're like, wow, they really do look good. So, yeah. yeah. So my last question is, how do you feel when you're dressed your best? I feel great. Um, you know. It, Presenting yourself um, in a certain way makes you more confident. I mean, I feel I feel comfortable, but yet I feel like I, I look I look nice. So you do. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> well, thank you for your time. I My pleasure. It. Thanks yeah. for coming and, and having me part of this. Of course. Yeah. And you guys should come to the seaport because it's awesome.